Hello, this is practice at 17.5, print level. The problem reads, write a method print level that accepts an integer parameter n and that prints the values at level n from the left to right, one per line. We will use the convention that the overall root is at level one, that its children are at level two, and so on. For example, if a variable tree stores a reference to the following tree, then tree.printLevel3 would produce the following output. So um, this is our third level, so it's going to return these values. And if there are no values at that level, your method should produce no output. Um, your method should throw an illegal argument exception if passed a value for a level n that is less than 1. And assume that you are adding this method to in tree class as defined below. Okay. So we will first start by adding in our method. So um, I believe it's yeah, print level. So public void and print level. And then int n. That's pretty much all the parameters we need. And we'll first um, get this condition, a legal argument exception, when n is less than 1, right? So we'll say if n is less than 1, uh, we'll throw our new legal argument exception right and um, we'll put our um, print level so all our logic inside a private um, method so print level we have overall root and we have our n okay and then we'll say private and then void print level and then we have our int tree node, node and our integer n, All right? So um, let's see. We'll first account for a null. So if our node happens to be null, then we'll just return. Um, we don't need to return zero or anything. We just ignore that since there's nothing. Um, and now if our n is to be one. What happens then? Um, then if our node or sorry, if our n happens to be one, then um, we just print our node data. So we'll just say if n is equal to one system dot out dot print ln. Make sure that ln is there because our output is in the format where we switch the lines. And then node dot data, and then just return right. We'll close this one off. And then now we just need to print our left and right nodes. So we'll say print level and then node.left and then comma n. Oh, I misspelled left. Left and then n minus one. Right. And then print and then do the same thing for our right node. Right. And then n minus one that okay so um, just to go over the logic again um, we're going to print everything from left to right and one per line so which is where we used our ln function to print one per line and um, we'll use the convention um, the overall root is at level one children are level two and meaning so we have this default value so um, when we subtract the one, um, we need to get rid of the top level so that um, we make sure that the proper level is being passed or we're gonna have an ad additional level and we don't want that, right? So let's run it. And yep, all our test cases are successfully passed, um, which means um, we did this problem correctly. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.